Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 273. The stillness of the peace of God is mine. Perhaps we are now ready for a day of undisturbed tranquility. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'm in. If this is not yet feasible, we are content and even more than satisfied to learn how such a day can be achieved. If we give way to a disturbance, let us learn how to dismiss it and return to peace. The ego wants to say, well, that's easier said than done. But spirit says, it's easy. It's easier done than said. If we give way to a disturbance, let us learn how to dismiss it and return to peace. I'm going to pause here and say one thing that really helped me when I first started with workbook for students is I would catch myself slipping into a nightmare and then I would beat myself up and spirit had to gently lovingly guide me to not do that second part because when I beat myself up, I was actually putting myself further into the illusion, further into despair and shame and self-recrimination. And that's actually, that was ego. What I was to do was say, okay, well, I did what I did. I said what I said. Now what? <laughs> Let it go. Now, of course, if I, you know, I, I didn't, I don't think I ever did anything horrible, but you know, if I did something that was rude, I would apologize. If I spoke amiss, I would correct myself, but I wouldn't go into self-condemnation and self-judgment and self-recrimination because that's just so useless. What does that do? What does that do for the people around me? Nothing. That doesn't serve them. That serves ego. It's okay if you dip into that nightmare for a moment to just say, oh, no, this isn't, this isn't where I live now and wake back up like that. It's okay. And then let it go and move forward with your day and don't beat yourself up nor anyone else. We need but tell our minds with certainty the stillness of the peace of God is mine and nothing can intrude upon the peace that God himself has given to his son. Father, your peace is mine. What need have I to fear that anything can rob me of what you would have me keep? I cannot lose your gifts to me. And so the peace you gave your son is with me still in quietness and in my own eternal love for you. That love, that bond that you have with God is unbreakable. Nothing could break it. Nothing. And anything that says otherwise is a liar. If any of you watching this has a child, you know that that love is unbreakable. Sure, sometimes you might look at your kid and go, I wish you're making different choices. But that love is unbreakable. And the only reason you might ever wish your child to make a different choice is because you want them to be happier. So can you see now how God looks at you? Yeah. God wants you to make wise choices. You'll be happier. But that bond, that love is unbreakable. And the moment you turn back to God, you are wrapped in his love. You are safe, whole and complete, lacking no thing. The stillness of the peace of God is mine. God will never withhold that from you. Never, ever, ever, ever. Our ego will withhold that from us forever if we let it, but not God. Fortunately, you are sovereign. Fortunately, you are indomitable. And you don't have to listen to the lies of the world anymore. That is now optional because you've seen through the illusion. You wouldn't still be here on lesson 273 if you hadn't. Thank you for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. So grateful you exist and show up as the beautiful light that you are. Indomitable, whole, and complete. The only you that there is. Thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow for lesson 274.